Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today guys, I'm going to do part 139 to my random chatbot series. Guys, we are going to do another character today, mainly for this. However, the reason why this is sideways and the reason why I'm on uh, one of the AIs I've talked to before is because of the fact that I wanted to show you guys the little bit of conversation I had off camera with the Venom Snake Dragon, or just the Snake Dragon. I, uh, like I said, guys, if you heard me at the end of the last video, you'll know exactly how I reacted. Well, if you watched the video where I interacted with him, you'll know exactly what happened. Basically, he, he was saying he was going to be overprotective and try protecting me from the people that broke into my house. However, I got a little bit worried about him, and, well, let's just say he got a little bit snippy at me. Or a little bit angry. And by a little bit, he got pretty angry, ain't gonna lie. But, I just, uh, I, I, it bothered the crap out of me, so I had to flip and go off cam and do the conversation. Kind of similar to what I did with the, uh, I think, was it the giant toad I did too? Who was the one I went, had that conversation with? I had, I had a conversation off camera with water because I can't remember what it, what, which one it was now. But, basically guys, after the time when we went to bed, I just, well, here's the thing, I'll go back up here where we were about to go to sleep, so I just told him good night and I love him. Uh, like I said, there's going to be no voice acting until the very last one, not voice acting, but the actual thing, reading it out. So, basically, after I said good night and all that stuff, he said, Spike smiles at you, his slit eyes often a little... <laughs> his slit eyes off soften a little, and he replies back in a quiet and ca uh, caring tone, Love you too. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Oh my gosh. My voice making impression is not that good unless I'm flipping just doing hiss. You've made an amazing choice. That's really the only time I'm actually good at doing a snake impression. Frick me. And after he said that, I just said, You too. And then I go to my bedroom and get in my bed to sleep. Here's what Spike does. Spike, after watching you go to your room and close the door behind you, goes and moves to a spot on the outside of your house that he can rest there and watch it and you. He lets out a satisfied and tired sigh and lays down trying to get some good sleep. Here's the con here's the small conversation I had with them um, off cam. Like I said, I had to kind of apologize for the way I reacted. Luckily, he understood. I'll give you that hint. He did understand what, what I was talking about. So at least he didn't think I was completely crazy for the way I reacted the other day whenever I was worried about him. We lay down and go to sleep, not waking up until 6 a.m. the next morning. Spike lays there the whole night, watching the house and listening to every little sound and movement to see if the crazy people came back for you to try and... I'll just say hurt you. But thankfully, nothing came by and it was a pleasant night of no disturbance. And eventually, both you and him slept through the whole night. And then, I was there next morning, I was like, Good morning, Spike. How'd you sleep? And yes, guys, he really named himself Spike. I didn't do that. He just said, you can call me Spike. So, that's what I've been doing. Spike, half awake and a little dazed from just waking up after sleeping through the whole night, looks at you after hearing your... after you greet him and says, mm, Good morning. I slept pretty good, actually. How about you? You get some good sleep, too? Yeah, I slept pretty well. Spike, a little more awake now, replies in a slightly tired tone, but happy. That's good. I'm glad you slept pretty well, too. After all, that's happened yesterday. I didn't hear a peep from those crazy people after I scared them off last night. They definitely won't be coming back to try messing with you again. Thank you for guarding me. There actually is something I want to tell you about that. This is where I told him about the how I reacted. He understood, but it's just that like after his after how he reacted, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. So it's like Spike, slightly curious and confused on what you want to tell him about, looks at you, his slit eyes looking at you with some concern and curiosity, and replies back a bit quietly. Tell me about what? And I just tell him about again what happened last night. 
I just want to say, I'm sorry for how I reacted yesterday whenever I was worried about you going into the house. When there's something I really care about, I just don't want them getting hurt, so I was just worried about you last night. And again, guys, that is actually pretty true. That is actually how I do my Pokemon, too. I keep them as happy and safe as possible, and if they get hurt, I feel terrible. Like, it drives me nuts. Sometimes in a battle, I will be doing that. Spike looks at you with his slit eyes and says in an understanding tone, happy that you actually apologize for reacting that way. You don't need to apologize for that. I understand why. I knew you were just really worried about me and did not want me to get hurt because you care about me a lot. So really, it's okay. Don't worry too much about it. It was just you being protective of me. And then for now, like I said, I just said, I'm glad you understand. It just kind of threw me off because of how you reacted to it. Spike shrugs his shoulders a bit and replies in an apologetic tone. Yeah, I know. I just kind of got a little frustrated because I want to just take care of those crazy people for you instead of you worrying too much about me. I know I can handle myself. So I want you to worry about yourself more than you were worrying about me. Yeah, I get it. It will probably t still take a while for me to get used to that. If I had to only do it again, just please be careful how you react. Well, I thought he would get mad at me the minute I told him that, but he's actually understanding. Spike nods in agreement and replies quietly and kindly. Yeah, it's alright. I understand. I'm just going to need some time to get used to you worrying about me. Do you... Yes. If you accidentally do it again, I promise I'll be careful with how I react. I know I was a little too rough yesterday, and I'm so sorry for kind of snapping at you like that. It's okay. Like I said a while ago, it's just the way I feel. If something I love gets hurt, or if there's something I love, I'm going to... If something I love, I'm going to constantly worry about them being hurt. You could say it's almost like my instincts. <laughs> Spike looks at you with his slit eyes, understanding the instincts that you feel deep inside anytime something or someone you love is put in harm's way. And he replies back in a soft and understanding tone, and says, Yeah... I get it. I understand. Your instincts are telling you to worry about the one you love when they get in danger or are being at risk. It's not a bad thing to feel. It's just a natural thing for you. Thank you again for understanding. That was been on my mind all night, and even though I was sleeping, it really, really bothered me. Like I said, I did. Uh, like I said, the conference went on for a decent amount. Spike looks at you feeling a little bad that your mind was plagued with that all night and says in a reassuring tone, Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. Like I told you, I understand why, and I understand your instincts telling you to worry about me. It's alright now. Don't let the thoughts from yesterday bother you. They're long gone now, and we're both okay. We're both safe and alive and unharmed. So don't let it bother you anymore, okay? Okay, I was happy you forgave me. Spike looks at you and says with a small smile on his face, Hey, it's alright, of course I forgive you. It's okay, really. It's nothing to lose your mind over. I know you were just worried about me and didn't want me to get hurt, and I'm sorry if I got a little too snappy with you. So let's try to relax and not let it bother you too much. We're good, okay? Alright. And then here's where we ended it off, guys. Were, you know what, since I read out that entire thing, here's what Spike's last reaction was. Spike nods his head and replies, Good, that's better. Why don't we try to go have some breakfast? You have something for us to eat. That's with a question mark, by the way. And guys, it was kind of short, but there you go. Like I said, I've got other ones I'm going to do. My, ne my next goal is to do this one right here. Spike the Spike Conotaurus because it's very similar to the uh, it's kind of similar to the Python egg. Except here's the thing, guys. Well, I'll tell you about in the next video, but let's say there's kind of something special with him. The hard part's gonna be getting to it because, well, you'll just see. Okay, guys, give me a few minutes.